All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. All right, I've been hearing about, you know, the University of Houston possibly going to the Pac-12, right? Now, the reason why we probably hearing this is because, I don't know if y'all recall, but about five years ago, when or maybe maybe a long a little bit longer but the university of houston was peaking i believe 2015 2016 time where they just went to a bcs bowl game they beat florida state i believe tom herman was the coach uh they just uh came off of a good season two years prior to that uh with kevin sumlin and they were peaking and at that point they were uh, they were uh, venturing out to test the waters with the pac-12 the big 12 the big 10 and other conferences to see where they would be a good fit at and during that process okay the big 12 began taking applications for um, schools as I mentioned in a previous uh, uh, in a previous video discussing that process where the big 12 picked the remaining best schools that were out there at that time and University of Houston was one of those schools that applied for uh, I guess uh, being a, a uh, a member of the Big 12 and at that time the Big 12 didn't expand now during that time the Pac-12 was also interested in University uh, the University of Houston as a potential candidate to join their conference now there was no need at the time for the Pac-12 to expand UCLA was still there as well as uh, USC and they had 12 schools and they were par, standing par. But University of Houston was considered. Now, with this being said, here's the catch. The Pac-12 didn't expand. Um, the Big 12 did expand. And it was technically going to be out of those two conferences if they did go uh, uh, leave from the ACC or the AAC to another conference. And out of those four uh, conferences, the Big Ten, the SEC, obviously, I mean, the ACC, the Big Ten, the Pac-12, and the Big 12, the Pac-12 and the Big 12 were the two convenient locations with made all, that made all the sense, right? Now, let me assure you, the University of Houston has already inked a deal to go to the Big 12. So therefore, so all of those out there who is in doubt and you're hearing these uh, these rumors or conversation that the Big 12, I mean, that the University of Houston potentially would accept or go to a um, to the Pac-12, that's out. Let's get that understood. That is out. The University of Houston will not be going to the Pac-12. And let me tell you a number of reasons why. Because for one, the Big 12, of course, have already agreed. Uh, uh, they are, have already made a contractual agreement to join in 2023, 2024 year. And the Pac-12 is currently um, about to potentially become out of the conversation of a power five conference okay uh, most of their members are going to go to either the big 10 or the big 12 and both and that would leave them picking up scraps from the group of five schools or outright dissolving and with that being said no one at this moment with the exception of san diego state is going to go to the Pac-12, including the University of Houston. They 
are not, uh, the University of Houston is not desperate to be going to any conference for that matter. Um, they are comfortable with where they at, and if any conference that they do go to, it would probably be the Big Ten or something like that or the SEC. They will not go to the ACC, I guarantee that, or the Pac-12. That is out. It would be either the uh, Big 12, Big 10, or the SEC if there's any conversation of them going anywhere. It would be uh, – they're already going to the Big 12, so it would be either the SEC or the Big 10 whenever that may arise, if that is even necessary. So that is out. So I'm hearing sports talk. I'm hearing commentators uh, having conversations about the University of Houston going to the Pac-12. That is not going to happen. I can assure you they are not going there. And uh, for the most part, um, that's what I wanted to put out there. Uh, it don't make any sense, and that's just people throwing names around. Now, back then, right, let's say, you know, maybe four years ago in the Pac-12 would have came to the University of Houston, and they made an agreement, they probably would have went to the Pac-12. It was really more about first come, first serve, really. If they would have went to either one. This is before what we know now remember this is a key part right here the university of houston still joined the big 12 that says something knowing that texas and um texas and uh ou was leaving right mind you they also know that usc and ucla is leaving they're not going to go to the pac-12 pac-12 was always a plan b it was never a plan a Okay, it makes no sense that they would literally go to a plan B over a plan A option. So that's out. They're not going. They will not go. If anything, it would be the Big Ten and the SEC, and that would mean them dominating the Big 12. Now, do the University of Houston has the potential to dominate the Big 12? Let me just shed a little light. The campus is growing. The alumni is growing. Their stadium is going to grow meaning they have the potential to seat 60,000 plus uh, students and fans in that home stadium. So as they grow, they will become attractive. Uh, there's a lot of other things that's going on over there at that university. So they are preparing themselves for, uh, you know, for the big leagues. So I don't see them going to a conference that is falling apart so that's not going to happen so i can assure you that global news thank you all for listening i just wanted to put that out there and this is where you come for your sports talk and yes they are not going there so thank you all for listening watching see y'all next time have a great day bye